Hello. This is going to be a video that's a little bit different than we're used to making. Mr. Wonderful is sitting next to me over there. <laughs> working. Um, let's see if I can get my light back here. There we go. We've had a... Well, first of all, let's give background. Um, we sold our house in San Diego, California back in the end of November. And <laughs> that's going to... Okay, that may or may not be better. Anyways, we sold our house back in November, the end of November, I believe it was, right? Sounds about right. And um, it, it sold quite quickly. I have a background in interior design. Um, and my husband's very handy around the house, so we take great pride in our houses. Um, and with the industry being the way it is right now, the home industry, things are selling like crazy everywhere. So anyways, our house sold, um, it had multiple offers, it sold in one day, and it sold for over what we were asking. Um, and I don't say this to toot our own horn, but to show you that things have happened very quickly lately. Um, the new owner coming in wanted to take possession of the house within 30 days, which we were excited about. And it's always been our dream to travel, so, um, not knowing what we were going to do yet or where we were going to live and what's been going on, we bought an RV. So we've been living in an RV out at my in-laws home for several months. We've been going back and forth for the last year as to where to live. So for a permanent home besides traveling. First we started out North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and then for various reasons, which I won't go into, we decided on Arizona. So we came out to Arizona in our RV about a week ago. So as of, and I tell you all this because the guideline, the, the um, time span is important to know. Last Monday, we toured a group of new homes out in a city called Surprise slash Buckeye um, in Arizona. It's a new uh, 55 plus neighborhood, which again, going back to our old house, we lived in 55 plus, which we loved. We loved being there. We had phenomenal neighbors. We really felt at home there. So we thought, oh, this could be a good opportunity for us. We found a house we loved. We found the model. It was from, it was within what we wanted to spend. Um, and this particular community is going to have 5,000 homes. And I would say of the 5,000 homes, maybe an eighth of them have been built already. So there's plenty of properties left. So when we decided we wanted to buy, um, we were told that a group of homes was going to be released that Wednesday. And if we wanted to, we were given a map of which I'm gonna hold up here. And on this map, I would say maybe there were 20, 20 lots. Um, and the yellow um, pertains to a group of price grouped homes and the blue is another group. And on each one of these, let's see if I can hold it up. There is a lot number and a price number for that particular lot. So one lot that might face the incredible mountains out here might be 100,000, whereas one might be 6,000. So they vary greatly. So we went out and spent a great deal of time. We picked out our lot. We went back to see our sales rep the next day, who, by the way, has been great. Um, what I'm going to tell you has nothing to do with him, per se. So we picked our lot, went back, we went through, <laughs> there must have been about, no joke, I think like 10 pages of options for each house that, of course, <laughs> add on to the sales price. We went through, we picked them all out, knew again that we could afford to be in this neighborhood. So we picked that all out and we were there at closing time on, I believe it was Tuesday, and we were told in the next day, Wednesday, that they again were releasing these properties and they would let us know. We were also, we were there at four o'clock, 4.30 ish. We were told um, that the next day they would make decisions, but we were also told that the lot we were wanting, there was no one else bidding on it. So we thought Shh, it's a no brainer. We've got this. So the next day came, didn't hear anything. Next day came, didn't hear anything. So bright and early this morning, Friday, we get a phone call from our salesperson um, and he's told us, sorry, they didn't pick you. And we're like, we're like, what? what? What's going on? We don't understand. 
and what ended up happening and so let's go back this is del webb who polte homes polte never polte homes owns um we were told that they decided that they were only going to release 10 lots and of those no excuse me they're only releasing five lots was it or 10 lots five five lots and that 10 people were bidding on those lots and they only granted obviously five to be sold and we're like what happened you gave us a whole list like i had shown you um of homes that were being released in this particular lot uh, or grouping of homes they were releasing all of those and they said no they management decided not to do that they only released five and we didn't quite understand it so we kept asking more of our sales rep who called us and he when we asked him a point blank question he told us an answer he was very honest with us and we asked him point blank did, is the reason why we didn't get this is because we didn't overbid for the lot and he said yeah you didn't get it because you weren't providing enough money to so we were just we went off and offered what was on the list right here of homes we offered and gave the amount of money they were asking for so we were and we were the only ones so they're telling us now bait and switch illegal that we couldn't have that lot because we weren't offering more than what was printed on the list not good they lied to us on various occasions and not to mention that our poor sales rep who spent time with us has gone through all this and is now missing commission because the people who want to buy houses can't buy houses so you know i have no respect for this none no respect when people lie to you and take advantage of you no one should be doing business with this company stay away from Pulte homes Pulte homes stay away from del webb do not do business with them you will be sorry your heart will be broken anything else you care to add my dear <laughs> obviously i'm mad <laughs> No, it's just super disappointing. Yeah. We were the only person on, only person interested in that lot and no reason not to sell it. And they decided, no, my money wasn't good enough. Uh, now we can wait for another week and do the same bullshit again, <laughs> but they'll Bleep. probably jack the price up. And that's what he said. He said, they'll probably raise the price of the house. They may not change the lot premium, but they'll change the price of the house. So in other words, we'd go through the same thing again, have to pay more, and still get turned down because they want to do it again. And it so these, goes on. So the big companies are just being greedy. They're, they're wanting more money because the industry is demanding it right now. But what I don't agree with is that they gave us a list of what the lots cost. So in other, I don't know if some people don't understand it, but when you buy a house, there's a brand new house, there's a price for the house and then there's a price for the lot which is called the premium for the lot so we just paid what they were asking we weren't you know so we were denied because we weren't playing their game um and i should mention on the day that we we made our off not our offer but we gave them our idea there i shouldn't say idea even we told them that we wanted to buy a house on tuesday night on Wednesday, my husband also got a phone call, Bob, Mr. Wonderful, <laughs> got a phone call from the um, sales rep and said, well, do you want to offer any more for the lot? And Bob said, well, why would I want to do that when we're the only ones bidding on the lot? Like, not even bidding is not the right word. That we're the only ones that wanted that lot. So why would we do that? And so I got the impression that the sales rep was kind of being forced by his management to call and ask us that. But we didn't understand. Why, why would we do that if we're the only ones that want that lot? So that also just didn't make sense. So even if they offered me a house for free at this point, I don't trust these people. I don't trust what they stand for. I don't trust what they're doing to their employees. Um, so my advice, stay away from Pulte Homes, Pulte Homes and Del Webb. Don't do business with them. They're not honest. They take advantage of you. Especially seniors. And especially seniors who, you know, we saw seniors walking in on walkers, literally. Um, we've seen seniors um, come in on their um, 
you know, the roll carts, wheelchairs. Um, we saw veterans in there. Um, it, it's just sad that this company, Polte Homes, is taking advantage of seniors. Very sad. You can do better, Polte Homes. You are sad. Sad excuse for a company. Management, get your Act crap together. together.